In this question, the H value, the magnetic field intensity is given and you are asked to calculate the total power passing through two cases. So, you know that equation for average power is given as P average. Okay, this equation, you know that E0 square by 2 eta into unit vector AK. This is the general equation for average power and the derivation is given in Poynting's theorem. In that derivation, we derive till this final equation. So, this is the equation for average power E0 square divided by 2 eta where eta is intrinsic impedance and E0 is the amplitude of electric field intensity. Okay, but here they have given H, not E. So, how can you relate E and H with eta? You know that E0 divided by H0 is equal to modulus and free space it's given. So, it's a real value. So, E0 square you can substitute as eta H0. So, again P average will be eta square H0 square by 2 eta into unit vector AK that will be half eta H0 square AK. So, you can either by heart this or you learn how to uh, get the equation for average power. So, this is a vector and here they have asked to calculate the total power. Total power is calculated, P total is calculated as surface integral of P average dot ds or it will be P average into corresponding area will give the total power. So, in this case, it is easy to calculate the average power because you can directly substitute this. It can be directly substituted here. It will be P average, it is a vector half into eta that will be 120 pi into h0 square. Here h0 is 0.2. So, 0.2 the whole square and unit vector ak. ak means the direction of propagation it is positive ax. So, that is important because we are considering a vector. So, this is the equation for the average power. Now, you have to calculate the area. So, while calculating the area, in the first case, a square plate of side 10 cm. So, when you consider area say S, first is the magnitude part. So, square plate of side 10 cm means it is in meter you can write it as 0.1 meter. So, 0.1 into 0.1. Okay, that is the area. So, this much is this much is 1 by 2 into 125 into 0.2 square that is P average and S the magnitude is 0.1 into 0.1. Then you need to add this is the magnitude only into unit vector A n. You have to get a unit vector normal to the area that is calculated like this you have to learn this. Okay. When uh, the plane equation is given you can take that equation as f as a function. Okay. So, x plus z equals 1 is the equation of plane here. You can take it as x plus z minus 1. Let that be function f. Then how to calculate a n? How to calculate the unit vector to the plane given by the equation x plus z minus 1 equals 0? How to calculate a n? You might have learned in maths, engineering maths. Or else you can learn this equation, how to calculate the unit vector. It is del f divided by modulus of del f. So, x plus z minus 1, 1 is a constant. So, you can avoid that. That will be here magnitude is 1 itself. So, del f means how you take it del f. Del f the equation is unit vector ax into dou f by dou x plus a y into dou f by dou y plus a z into dou f by dou z. So, here applying x and z, these two terms are there. Whenever you take the derivative, x and z, 1 is the value. So, it is a x plus a z divided by modulus of that gradient. That is square root of 1 plus 1, that is square root of 2. 
So this is the unit vector. So in addition to this, you have to give into 1 divided by root 2 here. Okay, 1 divided by root 2. So you are taking the dot product. So you take only Ax component because Ax dot Az will be 0. So you are just taking the product of x components of p average and an. You will be getting the value like this. You can check the answer. In the second case, it's a circular disk. So, so again, S means first you have to consider the magnitude that will be pi r square. Here radius is 5 centimeters, so 0.05 into 0 0.05. So you can directly get the magnitude. Next is the unit vector. Okay. If the function is given, what you have to do? You can use this equation. But here it is more clear because x equals 1 plane, you need not take gradient because this is a yz plane. That's why x is a constant. So yz plane means how you can take ds. ds will be, it is yz plane. So dy dz into unit vector x. So you will directly get the unit vector x. So you need not uh, have uh, calculate gradient and take the magnitude will be directly obtained as ax okay so ax it's only having the x component so what you do is have power power average power that equation is also having only x component so it will be half eta h naught square into pi r square where r is equal to the value is given as 5 centimeter which is 0 0.05 meter you can directly substitute and you will get the value as 59.22 milliwatt So these are the answers. You can do it by yourself.